Good afternoon guys, hope you guys are keeping well and safe first and foremost. Excuse the noise, Adam is playing with something new today. But anyways, so today I'm going to be reviewing a halal DIY kit from Passyunk Avenue. They basically specialise in Philly cheesesteak rolls and chicken wings. Um, I absolutely love their Philly cheesesteak, I think it is the best in London because I haven't had a really good halal Philly cheesesteak anywhere. And the chicken wings are amazing as well. So they actually sent me a huge box, one of their love bundles of the Philly cheesesteak and the chicken wings. I got the box yesterday and I just took out everything fresh then so I'll just give you a quick recap. So I just got my box from Passyunk Avenue, the love bundle. So I got the steaks and the wings and they give me all three cheeses, thank you. So open it and we've got instructions. Cool. So we've got bread, and then we have some stuff in here, and some more stuff. Okay, so three packets, let's open this. I'm going to use my phone camera, so let's put that here. Ooh, very cool. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got the cheese with, we've got the blue cheese for the chicken wings, the buffalo sauce for the chicken wings, and this is onions. You see, and we have American cheese too. Then in this one we have the chicken wings, vacuum food, steak that we're going to slice up and eat tomorrow. This is a beast. Wow. So this is for four people and it cost, I think, about £59.99. So, you can see it's a generous, generous amount of food. I'm going to put this in the box and I'm going to eat it tomorrow. So, I just wanted to show you while I got it fresh. First thing first, we've got to do the bread. So, these are partially baked already, so I'm going to put them on a tray with greaseproof paper and then put a wet hand all over it and that will help steam and get it crispy. Okay, and make sure that's all really nice and wet. So bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry whoever's watching this. Okay, cool, that's done. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven for three to four minutes. And the bread is done. I'm just gonna leave it to cool. Okay, so I'm gonna slice this up. Oh, it's already sliced. Clearly, I'm really silly because I didn't realise it actually came sliced. I thought it was one piece of steak, but it's sliced up. So you have to slice this up. So it's <laughs> Whoops. So I started slicing it. Okay, I'm going to start this again. So, now I'm going to... I tied up my hair. I don't like cutting my hair down. I realise it's just not comfortable. Anyway. So we've got the onions and I'm going to cook the onions in a pan with a little bit of vegetable oil and then I'm going to remove the onions and cook the steak in the same pan and then I'll add the steak back in after I add the salt and pepper. I need to double check some chicken. So this is ready, going to remove it from the heat, going to make the cheese with, and then cut into my bread. Mm. That whistle sauce is amazing. Okay, it is I. I am back with my hair out, but we are finally finished all the cooking. So I'm going to first plate up the one with the provolone, and then I'm going to do the exciting cheese action one right at the end. Um, so I've cut the bread. You can see I've cut it three quarters of the way. I was a bit unsure how to cut it, but I think I cut it correctly, so I hope it's correct. Right, 
Okay, this is a big mother load of a steak that I've got. I just folded it up and I chucked it on. So, oh my god, that's not going to fit. Not going to fit. I'm going to make it fit. Oh no way, it actually fits, guys. So, I've actually filled this up and there's still so much left in the pan, which I'm just going to still stuff it with. So, right, here we go. <laughs> I use some more for good measure, don't you think? Whoa, this looks great. And here we have it, my lovely cheese with Philly cheesesteak sandwich. I'm gonna bite in now because I'm dying to eat this. I'm in love with how soft the meat is. Instantly melts in your mouth. Um, even the fat, the fat, you can taste the fat when you eat it, but it just melts straight away. Um, really good quality meat i cannot doubt them on that i love how simply flavored it is it just needs salt and pepper doesn't taste gamey at all and you know what else i love the squishy bread love how squishy it is i love how it doesn't fall apart take note how our burger joints bread that doesn't fall apart and the simplicity of the cheese the creaminess of the cheese ah oh, i love it i'm glad i added the onion because the onions add nice sweetness which helps break up everything Oh guys, this is a really good sandwich and not as great as the guys at the actual shop. I'll give you guys that. But I would happily, if that means I'm not going to be going to their shop for a while because of coronavirus, I would happily order this again. I'm actually really pleased with this. This is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to tuck in properly for dinner. Now I'm going to make the chicken wings, which don't take long at all. They're just 15 minutes in the oven. Toss it in sauce and voila. Cool. The... Cheerio guys. Chicken wings, I'm gonna bake them now. Basically it's better to put it on a grease proof paper so that it doesn't stick. So we had an accident with the buffalo sauce. I fell from my ham, I fell on the floor, it smashed open. Ah oh, dear, I salvaged what I could. Oh no, this is just going everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is flying. I'm just gonna tough it. Why don't you put a cover on it and shake it around? No, 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 it's just too much. I'm just gonna use my trusty spatula. Basically, my camera got cut, battery died, and I can basically round up my passion bundle for you. So, all in all, the price comes to around now. I think they've changed their pricing since I have shot the video before, um, which was last week. So, for the steak and wings box, which is the one I got, you can get two steaks and two wings, so two portions. Um, and that is £30, which includes VAT but excludes shipping. And then for four wings and four steak sandwiches, it's 50 quid, well, 49.99. Um, and I don't think the pricing is too bad. So if you calculate it, it's about it's around 50 divided by four is 12 pound 50 per box. Yeah, 12 pound 50, oh, wow, so good at math. Um, 12 pound 50 per person, per portion. And that is one humongous Philly cheese steak sandwich. You saw in the video, it is big. And that's about, oh, I got like 26 wings. So yeah, it's about six wings per person as well. Huge, generous portion. And you get all the trimmings with it. Obviously you can add on um, anything else you want. But I think that is a really good bargain price. And I would happily pay that to get it delivered home more. Like I'd happily get this delivered home more often. Um, and then the delivery, so basically the delivery is they deliver from Tuesday to Friday. I think they use a shipping method like DHL or something and um, it's very quick. So if I wanted to get it, if I ordered it by today, which is Friday, it would be dispatched on Monday and I'll get it within two, three days of ordering. 
So really, really quick turnaround service. Definitely worth it, definitely worth trying if you haven't had a good bit of cheesesteak before. So that is it for the Passyunk Avenue DIY kit video. I hope you enjoy, I hope you guys do give the cheesesteak a go. And if you do, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, if there's any other DIY kit you want me to try out, again, let me know in the description. I mean, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, so take care guys, and I'll see you next week for the next DIY kit delivery.